Hi, this is Daily Nerf Reviews, episode 2. No, episode 3. What? Yeah, I did the Maverick, and then I did the Devastator or the Eliminator. Yeah, this is episode 3. Um, it's gonna be on the Stampede. Um, uh, basically, uh, it's the... Basically the Assault... It's basically the G36 of Nerf. See, it even has the little... Whoop. Little... Real thing up there. Uh, this thing goes about 50 to 60 feet. Um, has six rail mounts. Don't look it up, just, just trust me. I'm just kidding. One, two, three, four. There's one right there. There are two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Prove you wrong. Okay. Alright, moving on. You can kind of see I don't have the 18 round mag in it. Since I'm not in the nerf anymore, I gave. The other two, um, 18 round mags, my friend Drake, now he has five 18 round mags. Demon. And I just kept these two, because I don't usually play Nerf anymore, unless it's with, like, my younger friends, or my older friends who don't like getting shot out with Airsoft. That's what I'm into now, Airsoft, so. So I only kept the guns I like, which is Stampede, Strike Fire, the Maverick over there, and the Eliminator. Maverick on top, Eliminator on. Here, I'll just. Maverick on top, Eliminator on bottom. Yeah. Six round mounts, the normal stuff. Um, unjamming system, right here. I don't think it's possible to do air restrictor remover on this, but I took it apart and did a couple modifications, and it. It does. It shot, it shot farther the first time I shot it. What the fudge? Okay, the unjamming door is jammed. One sec. It does that. It's old. There's a spring in there. As I was took it apart, and I was looking in the insides of it. You know, seeing if you actually could do a restrictor remover on it, and I figured out you couldn't. Well, I didn't figure out a way to, anyway. I, I'm too lazy to, so anyway. Um, a little black piece right there. Um, that's actually some, a weird, um, piece of this weapon. I figured out. Um, that spring is actually not that big. It's about this big. I'm just kidding, it's more like that big. Um, it covers back and it just retracts the whole thing with this. And um that's where the air restrictor was, which was taken out. Which I no I I'm going to take it out, I'm too lazy to do it now. Um air restrictor fetching, then the air restrictor is in this area up here, which is gonna be removed in a few days. Hopefully. Um, another thing I like doing with this gun. Um, I put the strike fire as a handle or a grip, but it also kind of works as like a little grenade launcher. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool, I guess. I just like, I don't really like having the holding guns like this. I'd just rather just do a grip. Yeah. Um, safe. I wish this had a safe semi and auto, but it just has safe. And even if you do have it on safe, you can still pull all the way back. Um, tap swing, swing mount, swing mount, or you can use the swing mount. And a swing mount. Um, yeah, it looks like it, you know, it's all technical, which, of course, it's not. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty much it for, um, Nerf Review Episode 3, I'm gonna say.